I have created uh, three series of paintings for the Black Dot Museum of Political Art exhibition at Northern, the Olympia All Ages Project. The first series I created was a continuation really from the, the novel that I'd completed uh, just prior to getting going on, on the series of paintings. And uh, the novel that I've written is called The Black Dot Museum of Political Art. Uh, and it is about a narcissist who is an artist and uh, he meets a young woman who's a political activist and she is working to prevent the opening of a coal mine on Vancouver Island. And uh, he tries to impress her by going into his already existing paintings, which are primarily uh, traditional landscapes and he alters these landscapes to refer to the coal mine and uh, he hopes that that she will be suitably impressed by his political art and uh, so the first series I created is is called No Coal so uh, after I did the, the quite figurative paintings that he had altered to refer to the coal mine. I uh, went ahead and did this series. Again, these are ostensibly by Martin Lewis, who is a, f a figure, a character in my novel. And uh, so I did the majority of the uh, symptoms, the nine symptoms of narcissism. Uh, and this is really the main one uh, of the symptoms. This is uh, lacking empathy. A narcissist really characteristically is unable to put himself in somebody else's shoes. And uh, having given all this a lot of thought, it, 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 it is problematic if you are a human being encountering someone who is unable to empathize, who is unable to see how you might feel or you might think or react to everything. So to lack empathy, and empathy is a measurable component of the personality. Narcissism is a what they call personality disorder. Now we all have varying degrees of empathy and it kind of is measured in practical terms on a bell curve and uh, most people are somewhere in the middle with, with substantial amounts of empathy that I, I, I guess what happens is pe individuals meet other individuals and, and go ahead and assume that may, maybe they have the same amount of empathy as they do uh, but when that is not the case uh, many things can go awry. So this is uh, lax empathy. Uh, this is uh, number four in the, the list of uh, the nine symptoms of narcissism. And this is a uh, persistent fantasy uh, about power and success. So the narcissist basically believes they're special and that they should really only be uh, involved with other special people. Uh, this is uh, based around the number six symptom, which is entitlement. They do feel entitled to special treatment because of their sort of uh, superior nature. Uh, this is Number three, they believe that they are unique. The narcissist believes that uh, not only are they special, but they are, well, I guess we're all unique, really, but to them, uh, their uniqueness overrides other people's 
kind of rights, really, the, 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 then coming down into the sort of an entitlement for special treatment. Uh, this is number five on the list, and it is exploiting others for personal gain. So if one does lack empathy, they're not going to be regarding uh, what other people might feel by being exploited and used. Uh, and if you believe you are unique and special and deserve special things, you would probably feel quite fine about using other people for really whatever whatever you can get from them, what, whatever it is that you require, whether it's attention or admiration or uh, other other components that that people uh, other people other types of personalities probably enjoy as well but fit uh, better within their ego structure let's say uh, number two is uh, uh, attention seeking so they spend a lot of time trying to uh, do things to get that attention from from other people. And here we have number seven, and this is a preoccupation with power and success. So this is, a, 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 again, Martin Lewis is going back to a traditional sort of landscape and these rich colors and subdued tones that I hope indicate a sort of uh, wealth and luxury in a, in the sort of sense of this you know very small landscape whereas these fall more it, within the uh, abstract expressionist vein there's a little bit of uh, you know Helen Frankenthaler in there and uh, Motherwell and Franz Klein I think his name was so there's hints of uh, of some of the, the canvases being stained and some of the darker tones that, that I kind of am familiar with from uh, my very loosely constructed education in uh, abstract expressionism, which is basically my thing. There's, I like impressionism very much, but abs abstract expressionism uh, is, is the thing that I connect with the most and uh, it's, it's a challenge to me to, to be within a, a political art exhibit and to try to uh, match my, my colleague David Lester's ability to uh, create very direct political art in his style which typically will uh, bring forth information about specific activists and their ambitions and failures and successes and and try to you know give give those people and their ideas some a, a broader range of exposure so uh, while my my contribution to this exhibit is is some more somewhat more convoluted in that uh, I, I have uh, commandeered the, the work of a fictional character, Martin Lewis, and, uh, and in, in justifying the, the political nature of, of that work, uh, I guess I feel that the, the psychological endeavor of a, a therapist trying to uh, cure or uh, basically assist somebody with a personality disorder, narcissism, which is evidently an incurable disorder, but uh, he's, he's finding that art, in fact, is having uh, a benefit to, to Martin Lewis in his uh, self-exploration, that by being assigned uh, the opportunity to create a visual energy uh, that, that expresses what, what it is that he is deficient or uh, at least different from other people, how he is different, 